Welcome back to Forex Professional Training in Financial Markets. In this session, Andrew's Pitchfork will be studied in details. Andrew's Pitchfork Andrew's Pitchfork is a widespread indicator in a financial market that indicates support, resistance, reversal and continual levels. Peaks and valleys are pivots of the waves that can specify support or resistance levels. The future trend of the market can be predicted by using the most recent pivots alongside Andrew's Pitchfork indicator available in the MetaTrader 4 platform. These three pivots are called entry point, high pivot and low pivot. Like Fibonacci sequence, Andrew's Pitchfork is derived from the universal order and system. Hence, Andrew's Pitchfork is one of the most powerful financial market strategies. The first principle of this strategy defines that in 85% of cases, market price will return to the second line and touch it. In addition to this strategy, AO can be exploited to detect trends direction and RSI or Stochastic can be used to specify the saturation regions. Some examples on MetaTrader 4 would be beneficial. The pivot points can be marked by a trader to simplify drawing Andrew's pitchfork. Andrew's pitchfork pattern can be inserted from a toolbar menu. If a trader cannot find it on the toolbar, then he or she can right click on the toolbar Andrew's Pitchfork button can be attached from a customised window. For instance, on an uptrend, a trader can detect three pivots that can be used to draw an Andrew's Pitchfork pattern. After pressing the Insert button, a trader must select three points on the chart to determine the pivots. These parallel lines are drawn on three pivots. The first and third points are on an upward trend, while the second pivot is on a downtrend. To clarify the first principle, another example can be drawn. On a downward trend, with a sharp gradient, an Andrews pitchfork pattern can be drawn. After the price has returned from the third pivot, it could not touch the second line, due to the steep slope. Equivalent points of the second and third Andrew's pitchfork points on indicator chart has different phases. The highest peak and the lowest valley are called high and low respectively. The previous example explained the different phase of the second and third pivots on an indicator chart. A trader can draw a vertical trend line to find high and low on trends. Thus, selecting three pivots on the sections can be eased by using vertical trend lines. The pivots are selected correctly in this example. If a price touches the second line, trend direction will change on or after the cross point in more than 65% of all cases. On MetaTrader 4 example, price has changed its direction before touching the second line. The first and third pivots have the same phase on an indicator chart, while the second pivot as an opposite phase. In the MetaTrader 4 example, the first and third pivots are under level zero, while the second is over this line in the indicator. If a trader connects the first and third pivots with a trend line, trigger can be formed which has support or resistance effect on the market price. On the MetaTrader 4 platform, a trigger line can be drawn by a trend line that will be discussed later. It is recommended to modify Andrew's pitchfork points in a shorter time frame for more precise results. In the MetaTrader 4 example, the time frame was on D1 that can be set on H4. After setting a new time frame, a trader can select precise pivots of Andrew's pattern. The ideal condition of this pattern is when the first pivot is out of the second and third pivot horizontal channel. However, if it is in this region, then the power of Andrew's pitchfork will decrease. The MetaTrader 4 example shows that the first pivot 
is out of region between the second and third pivots. Another example can be drawn to check the situation in which the first pivot is in the region between second and third pivot points. Despite of less strength, this pattern had a valid prediction. A trader can relocate the first pivot to another peak which is outside the second and third channel. A trader can draw a Fibonacci pattern on the second and third pivots to check if the third pivot point is detected correctly. If price returns before level 38.2 then the third pivot point is determined accurately. On MetaTrader 4 an Andrews pitchfork pattern can be placed. A Fibonacci pattern can be drawn from the second to the third pivots. Price has returned to level 38.2%. Thus, the third pivot is acceptable. On a bullish trend, a lower line is used to generate an order signal, while a higher line is used for generating order signal in a bearish trend. In the recent example, a signal can be generated by a lower line from the third pivot. In another example, the highest line is used in a bearish trend to produce signals and predictions. That concludes this session. Until next time, and another session, take care.